Mr. Harris. Mayor Tory, esteemed guests, welcome. My name is Tom Perner. I represent a team called Video Visit Me. It's an individual solution for dementia patients. We find that individuals with dementia or any cognitive impairment, when they live outside of the family home, it disrupts their family ties. In fact, studies have shown that 63% of these people feel lonely, isolated, anxious, and even depressed in mood. They desire a sense of belonging and being a valued part of the family. And studies have shown that as few as one additional visit by a family member per week can have a significant improvement on their mood. Now, a personal visit, of course, is best. But I believe that a video visit, which I will demonstrate here today, can be 80% in the mind of the patient of a personal visit. But the problem has been in the past that a diagnosed individual does not have the cognitive ability or skill to operate a computer. Video Visit Me has found a solution. Excuse me while I set up the demo. The key to that is none of you had to do anything, and that's the key. No UI is the best UI, in my opinion. The impact of this, in my opinion, is very significant for the individual, certainly, who is without a computer, typically, without the desire or capability to interact with the computer. And this individual could be certainly a dementia patient, but could be virtually anyone, could be any senior or anybody who doesn't want to be involved. It's a huge benefit not only to the individual and their mood, but also to the family members who wish to keep in contact with their loved ones and often can't find the time or ability to travel. Uh, my mother lives in Guelph. I can't get there all the time. Practicality speaking, there's no significant hardware in the individual's home. There's a very, very small box computer, an SPC, that sits behind the TV out of visual range. It does not disrupt their environment. It interacts with their existing HDMI port on their TV with low-cost hardware, very implementable. In terms of my own ability to implement it, my background is computer science with an MBA from Schulich. My experience ranges from small startups to a VP of a major wireless company. 
Um, I've also been an innovation instructor in a second year MBA program. I don't really want to talk about myself, but I think it's a mention. Uh, the innovation is built, uh, I built it because no one is offering this. That is, no one offers a no UI video chat system. And uh, uh, finally, it's built on commercial computer. Web, it's web-based. There's no application download. You can contact from anywhere in the world. It displays on the existing TV as you've seen. And I believe the best UI is no UI. Thank you very much. Um, this is a, a poor environment to show that. But first of all, there was, from her point of view, there was an interruption in what she was watching with a screen presentation that says there's a call. Now, what I would do for me is I would actually put a photo of me on there, recognize that it comes from me and say, hi, Tom's calling. And then there's an audio channel that is set up before the camera goes on where I ask my mother permission. Mom, can I speak with you? Because I'm going to impose myself on her environment, and I'm going to turn a camera on. Given the audio approval by her, I click a button on my computer, which engages the camera, and now she sees me and I see her. Oh, so she, she approves it by, by verbally stating it. Uh, so you can, hear, you can hear that? Yes, because an audio channel is set up, a two-way audio channel, not a video channel. Now, I, I have to be honest that... There's also the ability, I can turn it off, but there's an ability that let's say you intended to call your mom, thought she was home, but nobody answered. And you have a little bit of a concern. You can actually turn the camera on without audio approval, obviously. That's a byproduct, but th there's got to be a protocol. It's only for family members. Can you talk a little bit about how difficult it is to set up the box behind the screen on her end and create the audio channel? Uh, yeah, extremely simple. This system runs on a small, I can actually show it to you how small it is. Built by a company called Solid Run in Israel. And it's indicative of the kind of small computers that are, are made available today. It's basically an SPC. That computer, tucked behind the TV, because generally you don't want to disrupt the environment, the physical environment, uh, and of course the camera. It doesn't even see it, it's that small. Power, internet, and your way to go. And it's all web-based, so there's no download of software required. Yes? Hi, you know that I'm a fan of your technology, as we talked yesterday. Um, and we talked about the issue of 2D to 3D transformation impairment in um, demented people, elderly. Uh, do you think that your technology will work the same with uh, 3D TV as well? Absolutely. The, the, the key is, and I'm assuming this will happen, with a 3D TV, they'll still support HDMI interface. And that's the key. Uh, I send a signal, if you will, down the HDMI channel. The TV has the processing power to create the 3D image out of, out of the signal that's coming down. So from my technology point of view, that's in the TV. I don't have to do anything special to support that. Thanks so much. Thank you very much.